good evening. Um, uh, highly complicated game. Really, uh, as I expected, we just played one week ago, so we know each other very well. It's like a second leg, so we, I think both teams we approach the game in that manner. So really tactical in the beginning. I think it was a 50-50 game in terms of control. Uh, the time that we play 11 against 11, slightly better, I think, our opponent. A little bit more comfortable on the field than, than us in the beginning. We didn't start with the pace that, that we were looking for. Uh, but the game, at that time, I think the game was Nobody can say who is really more close to a score. After the the red card, obviously, it's normal that that little by little we are we are starting to control um, more phases of the game than the opponent. Even though I think they they did it well, even with with one player less. Uh, Trying to play, not really sitting in a low block immediately, with uh, with also good opportunities in in transitions and set pieces, N not clear ones, not really, not really really clear, but always um, giving us that feeling of uh, threat. And I think we did a good job in terms of uh, in the, in our rest defense in the second half, especially in the last 30, 35 minutes. Uh, and in the last stages of the game, uh, with the nil-nil, we were looking for uh, something different up front, trying to 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 have more runnings to to the space, more running in the box, to the box, and stress a little bit more Sikakane and and, and Hannah move that they were doing a, an exceptional exceptional work, but they look slightly more more tired in in the end. And uh, yeah, probably we didn't play brilliant like maybe in the last two, three games at that level, but um, even more happy today than in the other in the previous games uh, for the fact that we we managed to be extremely competitive today, clean sheet, uh, always on the game um, and uh, showing showing. Uh, Showing uh, that we are we are in a in a good moment in terms of concentration as well, and we were patient enough to get one result that I don't think that if I said that we deserve it, I'm I'm I'm, I'm lying. We're not taking questions from the floor. Yeah, Thank you. Any questions from the coach? <coughs> Thank you. Um, I look at, uh, I think, my brother says, well, in terms of the goals you've scored, what? Um, is it 21 goals in the last seven matches? Um, and, and also looking at your, your run um, with, I think, with six games to go now, getting into the second spot, uh, how important is is to carry this momentum? Um, and, and mind what you can control uh, because you really need the second spot. Well, we really need to to win games uh, week in, week out. Uh, we really need to to do it in in the way we want to do it, playing the football that we want to play, and everything else is a consequence. We don't play for the results. The result is a consequence of doing the things better than the opponent in our way and recently we managed to do it in most of the minutes of the games, in most of the phases of the game and that's where we are getting results. Everybody wants to play for results, everybody wants to get results, everybody needs good results. So we want to do it in a way, right now we are close to, to the team that we want to be in the next months, in the future, in the next season, but still there's a big room for improvement. 
we take game after game, uh, one by one. Now we need to, tomorrow we have training, we have to recovery, then rest, and then we have Royal AM. And just three days later, we have to travel to Cape Town, and then we have a semi-final, and there's no, there's no time to feel, you know, uh, so great right now because of the, the, the football is the next game. You know it better than me. And the next game is Royal AM. We will celebrate today, it's likely. We are happy. And, and just from tomorrow, thinking again in our next competitor to, to prepare ourselves uh, as good as possible. And that's all. But uh, every coach in the world is kind of strikers, and uh, they don't get in the different strikers. So for first of all, I've been scoring in each and every game where he's played lately. Um, just, just coach your reflection, honestly, <coughs> and, uh, on, on reflection on, 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 your, on your views on the striker. I know you've got good players around you, just on him, he's been different, just your views on him. I think I did answer this question many times already. Uh, it's one more piece in our structure, an important one right now. I'm happy when the players, and especially the forwards, are, are uh, delivering goals, but especially getting, um, getting the responsibility in the, in the last meters, uh, constantly is, is, is offering us uh, other options and possibilities for the players that he are playing around for our number 10s. It fills those players out. Is is a it's a, it's helping us to to be aggressive in our pressing. He's the first defender of the team when we don't have the ball, so it's contributing in the role that we assign to the to the number nine position. And so far, he's doing well. But it's also doing well because the ones who are behind, the ones who are not pr uh, playing recently, they are training very well. They are they are putting pressure, they want to be there as well, and they are working for it. So in the end, only one can go to the field, but this is a team. Uh, Everybody is working to make it possible. And, and the ones who are going to the field, they have all of our support. And he's not an exception. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I don't, I don't know how big the role of that issue that you mentioned is playing right now in the end of the season. Not only in Orlando Pirates, I guess it's something general in in, in every other team, and it's normal. Uh, we go into the last stages uh, of the season, to the last weeks. Um, the fact that everybody, almost everybody, is playing for important objectives. Uh, I, I think, or as a coach, I want to think that is what is. You know, rising, rising is the word, the, the level of each and every individual. And it's normal as a professional football player that they are also keeping one eye in their futures and trying to, to, to deliver what they supposed to be delivering in, in their clubs. And in our case, it's, it's not an exception. And uh, everything in the end, as a pack, is going to contribute uh, to, to get our objectives in the end of the season as a team, them as an individuals, we understand everybody's also thinking in their own own futures and careers, and that's if it's like that, it's also good. It's uh, it's an extra for for the for for the team. Two questions. Um. Well done on the, on the result, Coach. Thank you. Um, I saw your, your fans were quite um, ecstatic of the, the support that these fans have been giving you through the years, and now that there's an understanding between you and them, <laughs> how far does it go? And 
technically on the on the match itself, coach. I've seen that a uh, player that gets a yellow card, you're quick to substitute him. Is it something that you 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 work on, seeing that others, your key players like your your team, for the others that got yellow cards, that will keep them out of the next game? How do you juggle that? Just give us the, your 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 thought on that. No, about the fans uh, today was was really nice. To be honest, the atmosphere in Orlando was really good from the beginning. I think, and hopefully for the next game we have to open the second ring as well, so so we can, you know, finish the season here with the sold out Orlando Stadium as well. Uh, it's really helpful in in tough games like today, especially and. Uh, the, the sub today with Mahaula, uh, for example, he got a yellow, and it's not only because of the yellow. It's about the, the role of the players, the responsibility that they have. Yeah, for example, Tito got a yellow also, and we didn't sub him. Uh, but depending on the role, sometimes we want to play safe uh, because uh, we know about the difficulties, obviously, to to find ourselves with one man down in, early in the game. So. Having the the having having the names we have on the bench is not an issue, you know. It's not that the level of the team is going to drop if we are forced to do a sub because of a yellow card. Maybe if I have a different bench or if I'm coaching in a different with a different squad, I have to think twice. But in this case, I'd rather to to be safe than sorry. Let's say because we we don't want to find ourselves in that scenario. And that's all. What else? Did you, did you ask me something else? Uh, it, it was more about the same thing, Coach. That are you looking into the next game, looking at the players that you'll be missing going forward? So? No, no. Again, 38 players in the squad. 80 um, percent available to play in a good momentum. So. If we get a yellow, we get a yellow. If it's the fourth one, it's the fourth one. We go to the next. We have many players ready to go, and and everybody is going to be needed in the in the last part of the season.